This video is a brief overview of a very important Fayette County Schools initiative called Portrait of a Graduate. Over the next few minutes, we'll talk about what is a portrait of a graduate, why it's important, we'll show some examples from other communities, we'll talk about our design team, and finally, we'll close with next steps in our timeline for our Portrait of a Graduate project. So what is a portrait of a graduate? Well, it's a collective vision that articulates a community's aspirations for their students. It's a community-owned picture of what our graduates need for success. And communities and school districts across the country are doing their own special portrait of a graduate for their community. So we're excited to launch Fayette County's uh, initiative. How do we how do we start? Well, we start with Fayette County Public Schools vision and mission and the we, we believe statements that our system has adopted. And we also start with this simple question. Which student will be best prepared to contribute and compete in this global economy? Student A or student B? And the key answer is that for our students today to truly contribute and compete, not only do they need content mastery of subjects like math and science and English and social studies, but they also have some additional skills and competencies that it's imperative that they have in order for them to leave our schools when they graduate and be ready to succeed in the world. Here are a few examples of portraits of a graduates that three other communities have done. And what you'll notice is not only are the actual skills and competencies that they've identified unique to their community, but also the three examples here, the graphical representation is also reflective of that community and unique to them. And like these three examples, uh, the Fayette County product that we ultimately adopt will be unique and special for our own community. So how do we go about this process? Well, the most important part is that it involves a cross-section of our community. We'll be talking with students and teachers and families, school leaders, district leaders, but we'll also be including communities of faith and business leaders, higher education, community members, social service agencies, and getting these distinctive and unique perspectives so that we can come together as a whole community and articulate what our Fayette County portrait of a graduate looks like. So how do we do this? Next steps? First of all, we're building understanding of the project. That's part of what this video is all about. We've created a design team, and our timeline is uh, hopefully to have something ready to present to our school board in fall of 2018. We've convened our design team, and we're beginning to discuss the implications of the changes that we've seen in our society and in our community, and capture input from all of those different stakeholders. Next, we'll draft and revise our prioritized competencies, and also draft and revise the visual representation, like the examples you've seen earlier. Again, we hope to submit this to our school board this fall. And once adopted, we envision that this becomes a North Star for our district, really helping us to make difficult decisions with funding or priorities or what projects are most important. Ultimately, we know that we'll need to continue to review and revise it as warranted in the future and as things change in our community or in the world. But hopefully, by putting together this portrait of a graduate, we really will have a roadmap of what skills, what competencies do we need to make sure that every one of our graduates of a Fayette County school possesses as they go out of our schools and into their future. <laughs>